So I figured I would share my advice on the top three programming languages that I think you should learn in 2019. All right, so let's get into it straight away. The first language that I think you should learn is Java. Java is a classic and it's widely used by lots of different companies. Even if Java's popularity has been decreasing slightly in the last couple of years, it is still in the top of the demand hierarchy in 2019. Java is a language that can run on pretty much any machine and is a great foundational language to get started with. The second programming language that I think you should learn in 2019 is Python. Python is a great language that I personally really enjoy using and if you are interested in working in the area of AI then Python is an absolute fundamental. Python is also fairly popular for back-end development so if that is an area that you want to get into, then Python is a great choice. Since it's relatively recent increase in popularity, it is in high demand right now and there are lots of job opportunities for Python developers. The third language that I would suggest that you learn in 2019 is JavaScript. JavaScript along with HTML and CSS is basically the web developer's base toolkit. So if you want to get into web development, I highly suggest learning JavaScript. And in web development, the job opportunities are great. And as platforms like React Native are just getting better and better, my best guess is that the demand for JavaScript developers is only going to increase. Now, like I said at the start, I have a fourth recommendation that is a bit of an obscure language, but the three previously mentioned languages are my most solid recommendations because they have all been in the top of the popularity among both developers and companies for the last several years. So you really cannot go wrong with either of those. So my fourth recommendation is Dart, which is a programming language developed by Google. As far as I understand it, it's pretty much only used internally by Google and its employees. However, as you may or may not know, Google just launched their first version of a cross-platform framework for mobile development called Flutter. And as you may have guessed by now, the language that they chose to use in this framework is the Dart programming language. So if you're looking for a job in mobile development, then learning Dart and how the Flutter framework works is likely to be something that will make you stand out a bit. Plus, learning something that is relatively new like this will help companies see that you actually enjoy programming and enjoy learning new things and that you keep up with the new things that are coming out and the new technologies. Also, if you're a lone developer and want to build an app, then maintaining two code bases can be quite the struggle. But if you write it in Flutter, then you only have to maintain one code base and that'll increase the rate at which you're able to push out new updates and generally manage the app. There are other frameworks that work really well too, like React Native, but in my opinion, the workflow in Flutter is super fast. It makes my personal development process really fast. And that is why I recommend that you get into learning Dart and Flutter in your spare time. All right, so that's it. I hope you got something out of this video. And uh, if you like it, please give it a like. And uh, if there's anything that you would like for me to make a video on in the future, then leave a comment and uh, maybe I will.